What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Earthbound in the last part. Um, there was a little bit that we made it to Deep Darkness in this part. There's a little bit of a fuck because I'm doing post-commentary with this and I'm um, looking at the game footage. But uh, during the recording, even though I was able to get make it a success, um, basically um, the my headset went out and on top of that, my laptop speakers went out. And because of that... It only rec recorded half the commentary, so I'm doing a post-commentary for these next two parts, and basically doing it that. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I also am switching from recording the commentary in OBS to, uh, Tenacity, which is a modernized version of Audacity. I'm hoping this works, but, um, yeah, so, yeah, uh, we're gonna play the multi ball rock with Jeff. Now, I'm gonna tell a story about this area in the game. This is the game. Now, the swamp water slowly damages you, and on top of that, um, you need a multi-bottle rocket to kill the main boss in this area. I did not know that so at first playthrough, so I kept dying to that boss over and over and over again. I, I could not for the life of me figure out how to beat him. After about six or seven deaths, I said fuck it and consulted the internet, and, uh, yeah, you just need a multi bottle rocket. I did not use bottle rockets up to that point. And, like, um, so, yeah, another example how Jeff can be, like, the weakest or strongest member of your team, depending on how you equip him. But, um, yeah, the recording was a fuck. And the next part, also, um, we're also gonna call a Scar Ghost Press to get rid of a few Jeff items. And, uh, we're gonna get rid of the, uh, pack of bubble gums. And I don't think we need the, uh, um, let's see. I'm trying to remember what I, we don't need the bad key machine anymore. Be in, we don't need the, uh, we don't need the hungry HP sucker anymore. So, uh, yeah, those are the items we don't need. So yeah, now we're going to buy multi-bottle rockets for Jeff. We're going to buy a few of those because we're going to need those in one of the next areas. Yeah, I'm sorry, but then... Because uh, the alternative was to either... Uh, was the was to start the game over, but I really do not want to do the first six Sanctuary bosses again. This is literally so I, how I can save the playthrough, basically. Because we're, al we're almost at the very end of this game. We only have two Sanctuary bosses left. Plus a final boss, so like we're doing pretty good. We don't have that much left in the game. You also need the Hawkeye, so you can see inside deep darkness. And uh, if you got it, if you had it in Pooh's inventory, ask our girls first to give you. By the way, this guy, he's a cash. He's he acts like an ATM. I don't recommend using him because uh, basically he'll just um. What am I trying to say? He'll basically uh. He'll charge you for the amount you withdraw, so, like, it's not really worth it. Just go to other places and take out money. So, yeah, and, and there's another thing. This place is a maze, also. Like, um, when I did this initial recording, I did have to look up a map to show you where they are. And there's, uh, there's a lot of new enemies here, but, um... Yeah, these, these are some of the new enemies, um... This is the the Zapiel and the Hard Crocodile. The hard, the Zapiel knows Thunder, so uh, I'd suggest maybe taking that one out first. The Hard Crocodile is also pretty bad. The Hard Crocodile is like the strong crocodile, and the uh, is like uh, except this is the strongest of them all. It's like a saltwater croc. It's like it'll fuck you up. Yeah, we're gonna use PSI Freeze. Oh, we're gonna use PSI Freeze Omega on the Hard Crocodile. And just take out the Zapiel. If we have, if we, it attacks Paula, we have the Franklin badge equipped on her. And this is around the part in the initial recording where my uh, headphones went out. So, like, I was wondering, should I continue this recording? So I just said, fuck it, and continue the recording. I think with the Franklin badge, uh, it, it, it deflected the lightning and attacked Jeff, but, um, the Zapiel became tame, and sh the Hard Crocodile should also become tame. Yeah, like that. 
And Jeff's now level 47. Defense went up by one. Speed went up by one. IQ went up by one. Max is up by three. Anyway, so this isn't really... Oh, and this is also a cameraman triggering spot. Pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph. It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. That's not even like a required area to go. It's like... Sometimes the cameraman shows up in the weirdest spots. Yeah, it's like, um... There's gonna be several new enemies in this area, and, um, there's not gonna be a whole lot of cutting, except when I had to look up the map during this recording session. So there's a helicopter, except we can't really do that. These are a new enemy, by the way. These are the, uh... There's the hostile oaks. They're like the territorial oaks in Peaceful Rest Valley, only they're stronger. A lot of these, I've already elaborated on this, but a lot of these enemies you encounter in the later games are graphical redesigns of earlier enemies, only that they're stronger in terms of strength. So yeah, I would say Earthbound doesn't have the it has unique in terms of enemies, but it doesn't exactly have the most amount of originality, because a lot of these are basically reused sprites, just colored differently. So yeah, I do not like this part, and uh, new enemies also here. These are the uh, pitbull slugs. They're like the attack slugs. Just go all all out on them. You'll get also get a ton of XP from them. This is a if you. There's also an enemy here that drops a 100 128 item, and uh, this is a really good spot to go for 128. And it's the horn of life that one of these enemies has. So um, yeah, it's a good grinding spot. I will say, though, the next area um, also has a um, 1 in 128 item that we have to get in the next part, and we're going to get it in the next part. Anyway, these are... Uh, these are new enemies. The, the, the even slimier little pies. Um... They're like the, uh, little pot- they're like the ones in, uh, Saturn Valley, only that they're stronger. I didn't really get into many repeat battles during this, probably why I didn't cut out much footage in the post-commentary, so I'm gonna have to add the commentary tracks. And yeah, this is when it started getting nerve-wracking, because, uh... There's, a, there's gonna be a point in the next part I'm gonna have to cut out, because that was around the time my laptop speakers went out. It was a pretty disastrous recording that I have to save through post-commentary, otherwise I'd have to play the whole game over again, so it's like, pick your fucking poison. Ness is now level 54, offense went up by 1, defense went up by 1, Gus went up by 1, Vitality went up by 1, Max is up by 11, Max is up by 2. Jeff's HP are maxed out, that's great. Yeah, this is around the point where I was starting to not notice. Cause like, I couldn't hear the- I usually use headphones to hear the game audio when I'm recording. But like, I could not hear- oh, by the way, these are new enemies. There are two new enemies in this area that have this sprite. These are the manly fish. Um, these aren't the ones that drop the 1 in 28 items, so, um... Yeah, be a little weary on that. But, uh, they, they just throw spears. They're not really too... They're not really too bad. The manly fish's brother's the other one with the sprite. That's the one that drops the 1 in 28 item. I'm trying to wonder what the hell I did in the first recording that, uh... Because, like, uh, maybe I was thinking... I think I was looking at the guide that I use in this playthrough to find out, find out which enemy has the 1 in 128 item. I think that's what I was trying to do.
And so you won. And uh, basically, uh, we didn't get a level up out of this, so... I'm also trying something new. I'm recording po Maybe I'll record live for for commentary and tenacity because there doesn't seem to be any mic drops on like the uh, time. Because I would usually record this in OBS and like uh, I'd have to edit commentary. But as long as it's not another recording session, like the last one. Oh, by the way, these are the new enemies. So yeah, this is the Manly Fish's brother. Um, the Manly Fish's brother is the one that drops the Horn of Life, a 128 chance, and uh, he uses a lot of PSI attacks, like he'll use like paralysis and all that, and hypnosis. And I tried a PSI freeze, but I failed to realize that he is strong against freeze, and it didn't even solidify him. So yeah, he he's gonna use paralysis alpha, and uh, yeah. Fortunately, though, um. I learned this during the recording session. Um, we know Healing Omega, and that gets rid of paralysis. So you don't have to go to the hospital anymore at this point. And Paul realized the power of Shield Beta, which is going to be a great move. Glad Paul learned it. Anyway, so we're going to we're going to use Healing Omega and Jeff, and his numbness is gone. This is around the kind of the tipping point where I started to get lost. However, um, one thing also is that we did encounter the last new enemy, so I'm going to keep that bit of footage, except. Uh, yeah, it's around the kind of a tipping point where I start getting lost. I don't want to. I don't remember if I fought that enemy or not. I think I did. But yeah, it's just uh, it's another manly fish's brother. But I did not get the horn of life in this like. So don't even like hope for an excited reaction. Plus, it's not really worth getting an excited reaction in the uh, post commentary. Just keep in mind, when you run a gaming channel, like, trial and error is going to happen. I'll also level up. Max HP went by 7, but, uh, yeah, if you run a gaming channel, like, trial and error is very much going to happen. I have to pretty much spend the entirety of Wednesday. I have the last part posted, and, like, I have to pretty much hope I can squeeze in the next part. Yeah, this is the last main enemy I wanted to see. This is the, uh, they do, they use, they will use, uh, Fire Beta, I think. I think it's Fire Alpha, or Fire Beta. It's Fire Beta, actually, but thank God we have the Flame Pendant on Paula, which is, uh, protects her from it. Yeah, this is around the time, this is around kind of a tipping point where I did... Kind of start coming out. Through. I I got the souvenir coin. I I am gonna get. I gave Jeff it in the recording. I it basically must be equipped with other creatures your defense and luck. So yeah, I pretty much gave this to Jeff. I pretty much I just gave this to Jeff, and I yeah. I'm trying to think of uh. I'm trying to look at this footage here and like um. I'm kind of I'm trying to look at this footage and uh. Yeah, this is about the jump cut. So, uh, you have to pretty much go this way, and this is where you encounter the boss. See, like I said, the first time I played through this area, it's not only a maze, but I didn't know you had to use the, uh, you had to use the, uh, multi ball rocket. But yeah, this is Master Belt, and he basically returns, and, uh, the only way to much like the last time, the only way to kill him is the, the Jar of Fly Honey, this time the only way to kill him is with the Multi-Bottle Rocket. Because, uh, once you just use Physical Attack with Ness and Paula, then use a Multi-Bottle Rocket. Multi-Bottle Rockets is the only 
where you can kill him. I'm trying to think of uh, what I was saying in the initial recording, but I can't check. Uh, not that I would know what I was saying, because ha only half the commentary was recorded. Hell was I going on for this? Oh yeah, there's the uh, multi bottle rocket, and yeah, and uh, fire the multi bottle rocket, and uh, yeah, this does like two thousand damage. And Pooh swoop down. He's gonna use PSI Star Storm, which is a new attack he learns. And uh, we won. And we gained three thousand experience, and um, the email for the present of the Casey Bat. And, uh, yeah, this is now level 55. Oh, baby, offense went up by three, defense went up by one, speed went up by one, max is up by two, max is up by one, Pooh is now level 44. Oh, baby, offense went up by five, defense went up by four, oh, baby, speed went up by three, guts went up by one, vitality went up by one, IQ went up by two, max is up by ten, that rocks, max is up by eight, Krill's of our brain shock. And, uh, yeah. The KC Bat. It has, it gives Ness really high attack, but it gives him a high chance of missing. I don't recommend equipping that. And, uh, yeah, we're almost in the end of those. The new village eventually is the one thing that prevented me from quitting the whole game. Listen to this music. Yeah, that one song that plays when Nintendo Village, that's one song that prevented me from quitting the whole game. It was like, Earth can lure you in when you think you're frustrated with the game. Like, no matter how frustrated you get, you want to keep going. You want to see if these characters can save the world, basically. Now, there is a whole gimmick to a Tenda Village that, uh... I'm trying to see if I can talk to any NPCs. I think I do in this uh, recording session. There's a whole gimmick to this place. They're basically shy. They don't really have much to say. They just all say the same thing, and, uh... And, uh, this is the, uh, end where you can basically, uh, heal yourself for free. Anyway, so, um... There's not really- there's not- this is the point where you can save, um... Maybe don't save during recordings, or maybe load a save state prior to recording. I think I'll do the latter next recording session. Anyway, so, um, rumor has it we, there's a book that is on recovering shyness, um, anyway, if we go out of here, if we go out of Tenda Village, um, we're gonna get called. If everyone else will be talking, this is Applegate, we're having this beautiful weather here, I'm now at Dr. Anderson's lab in winters, the doctor doesn't seem to be around right now, but I'm just working on my race eraser machine in. Hey, oh no, what are you doing to me? What do you click? Anyway, so I'm um, we're getting another call. Yes, I haven't talked to you in ages. This is Orange Kid. We're finally coming near to the end of our research on how to change a boiled egg back into a raw egg. By the way, Applicate is missing. He left here saying he was going to dock to see and winners, and he never came back. I was hoping to borrow the book Overcoming Shyness from him. Suddenly he disappeared. I haven't read the book, so I'm not very good at talking. Very sorry. Um, I also work hard on my events, so I'm gonna say I have friends free click. Anyway, so that's the book we need, and, uh, we're gonna teleport to winners, so, um, next time on Earthbound, we're gonna see if we can investigate what's going on in winners. See you guys then.